here in California and Sean has never flown mountains before. Well, you flew mountains yesterday, but today we're here again and I live in California and I haven't even flown the mountains I can't believe before. you live here with yeah. this. This is yeah. so awesome and like you've never flown this, really? I just haven't thought to do it. I'm, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So yeah, flying mountains, it can be a lot of fun and it's very different from a lot of the things that you might fly on a regular basis. So there are some particular things that you might want to do a little bit different. So we're going to walk you through some of the things that we're thinking about where we're going to be flying longer, flying further, flying a lot more elevation and flying in places where it's going to be a little bit hard to even get home. So there's some things that you can do to prepare for this to maximize your range, maximize your signal and make sure you know where you're going. Wait, like let all you guys fly first because last time we did something like where you could lose your drone you you crashed your drone then Alex crashed his drone in the water back. yeah but this is different I'm also like a little sketch about my setup because like this this quad is the only one that's like actually flying right now like that it's, like, you know it's, that's like, so bad you're making a legitimate crash. point is that you really this is really a trust your gear situation and your drone that you've been sending into concrete walls while trying freestyle trick, I don't know, maybe it's not the thing that you want to trust for flying really far away over a big chasm. I always leave one setup where I don't rip it around bandos, I don't crash it into things, because I want to be able to trust it if I'm flying over the ocean or up into the mountains. You want a quad that you can trust all the parts on it. So, you know, try to keep, if you can, you know, if you've got multiple drones, try to keep one that you have. Yeah. So this, this is Bubby's best condition drone. This is the best condition Bubby has to offer today. <laughs> and I'm sure it's fine. It's this fine. Like We're just going to send it. We're exactly. Send it I'm it. pretty sure it's fine. It's but... probably fine. Let's go. <laughs> I hate you. I mean, if you could stay at basically grass level the whole way down and just shoot gaps the whole That's time. That's what I'm trying to. So you're just, so you're basically planning just, out yeah, each so of like the ones. Yeah, so like that one so works. You, like, oh, if you could hit that from the start too. Yeah, no, start over, start over, start over. You got to hit that gap at the very top. Okay, okay. so yeah, nice run up. Okay. Scene opens. We're right at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't very smooth. Real steady, bro. Real yep. steady. Real steady for the win. Oh, I'm at 14, That's us. You're 14, heading straight. 14, I'm at 14.2 now. Actually. Okay, you got it. Perch the van. Perch the van. Woo! Yeah. That's fun. That was sick, man. Thank you. That was sick. I'm going to have to real steady go that like that. That was so sick. So when you're choosing a control link, you want to think about what environment you're going to be flying. Today, it seems like most control links are either going to be 2.4 or 5.8 with the DJI system, right. or 900 megahertz. Most all these modern control links perform very well. Uh, even the DJI system, which is a 5.8 gigahertz control link, can have very impressive range, like yeah. way more than you would expect. But in general, the lower frequency you go, meaning the longer wavelength, is going to give you a longer range. If you go all the way down to 900 megahertz, as is the case with this Crossfire, we should have the capability to just fly miles and miles and miles. Right. right? We should be able to go as far as we want to go. I mean, these things are rated for like 15 miles, I think. It's ridiculous. So if you got a ready-to-fly drone, a lot of them are built, a lot of the ones that we build are with the DJI system, which is on 5.8. That system is really, really capable. But if you really want to get the most range and switch to a control link system, what that entails is adding a separate receiver to the drone. So rather than relying on the air unit to be the receiver as well as the video unit, you would uh, install another receiver. So in this case, we've got Crossfire receivers installed in the aircraft, and that's going to enable you to link up to a separate radio. So you'll need a receiver on the drone, you'll need a separate radio, 
um, and possibly even a module that has crossfire built in. It is a lot more complicated, but there's a lot of information on how to do it. Um, but if, you, if all that's sounding overwhelming, you totally can run the DJI system. Just keep an eye on your uh, your OSD, and, and it'll tell you kind of what your it'll tell you what your reception is. It'll be like the bars. It and, even goes red to like say, "Hey, dummy, <laughs> turn around, come back." You know, and, and you need to do that anyway, no matter what <laughs> yeah. you're on. Right? Switching to a certain control link, no matter what people say on the internet, is never going to be a hundred percent guarantee. You can fail safe crossfire. Mm -hmm. It's possible. You yep. can fail safe anything. Yep. If you fly behind things, if you fly too far, if your antennas aren't set up right, no matter what link you're using, no matter what gear you have, you want to exercise best practices and keep an eye on your RSSI indicator. So in this airplane, I actually have two 1800 4S batteries. And the reason I did that, I'm actually going to be running them in parallel where I can actually put both batteries together and it'll turn it into a 3600 milliamp hour battery. It gives me a lot of extra flight time. In theory, this plane should fly for about an hour with this much battery. The, st the decals add an extra 10 horsepower. That's true. Yeah. So this thing has GPS return home. Uh, if I get into a sketchy situation to where I don't remember where I'm at, or even if I lose signal, if I flip a switch or if it goes into fail safe, it'll automatically spiral up and climb to that altitude that was the maximum altitude that I flew, and it'll come back to us, and it'll just circle above us. The plane will automatically just come back. Throw it off the side of the mountain! <laughs> 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 I got that. Here. That was <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That looks so cool, line of sight coming down. I gotta say, like, this is definitely long range for us freestyle pilots, but like hardcore long range pilots will go miles and miles and miles out. They, they probably laugh at us. No, right they, they're gonna be like, this is medium range. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, you're good. Okay. Oh, We're still good, the GoPro's still on. Yeah, or who's getting it? Nah. I, I, I crashed, I have to get it. I'll hold your radio and goggles. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but, be careful, dude. It's yeah, be yeah, really careful. very loose wrap. Uh, thing, so. And that thing just slid. Man. If you need, I wouldn't do that, don't go down there. Yeah, then how are you gonna get back up? Don't go, you know? don't go back there. If we had a rope that we could do we have we do have up. a rope. We do have a rope. Seems like another episode of pilots just breaking Sean's stuff. It See, I, it's, it's been a while actually. We kinda needed fine. this. <laughs> you got me? Yeah. Here, I'll try to grab the plane. Alright, let's go back up. We got, team. we got it. Teamwork makes the Pixar. This thing is fine though. Yeah. It's fine. This is the Outlaw. I designed this drone to be a sub 250 gram, very lightweight drone to conform to certain regulations that different countries have. And this quad is actually perfect for doing long range because it kind of checks all the boxes that we need for long range. It's super light, it has big propellers, so when doing long range, efficiency is something we really need because we want to get as long as battery life as we can, and this thing flies for a pretty long time, right? Yeah, when we flew this in the episode, we actually flew it with tri-blade props, and we got about nine to 10 minutes of flight wow. on one of these big batteries. Yeah. So if you switch that over to bi-blades, you should get an even longer flight time. This is the HD1 XR. We sell these in a Rotorite store, and when we were flying these drones originally, we noticed that we could get really, really long flight time on a seven inch prop with a 4S battery. And I thought, why not use that for a long range rig? I figured if we get a lot of flight time out of this, it would be awesome for long range. But the one thing that scares me about flying in the mountains is losing my stuff. So I went ahead and I added this GPS antenna to the back. This allows me to, in beta flight, assign a function called beta flight rescue mode. And what that basically is, is sort of like return to home with INAV. So it'll automatically try to come back home if we get into trouble. And then you right. came out yesterday, you tested this out already, right? So you yeah. already, you know yes. it'll work. I know it's I can go of... all the way to the top of that mountain. I know that I can go all the way to the top of that ridge over there, at least the first ridge. I haven't tested the very far mountain yet. I'm kind of excited to, but I'm also really nervous. Well, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Wow, dude, this is so crazy. I can't even hear the drones. 
Shoot, where'd he go? I am holding 50% throttle though. Okay, slow down a little bit. I, I lost you. Just get good footage, Sean. Yeah. Oh shoot, it actually went into GPS rescue mode. Did it? Ooh, yeah. that's scary. What's more scary is that I don't know where it's going. I don't know where we are. Well, it's coming towards the arrow. I mean, okay, is it? So it yeah. is working. I just don't know where we are. I haven't seen us yet. My battery is dropping. It's, I'm so, it's so far. I'm trying to get home. I, I'm a goner. 10 volts now. We're, we're gone, bro. 9, 8, we're gone. No! No! It's gone! Where are you? Ah! Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Good cell arm. Well. I don't know. <laughs> that went so home. bad. I hear it. I hear it. Well, um. I have I didn't I, I didn't actually put it in GPS rescue. It did it on its own because oh. it fail safe. Are you slowly? In, are you in? Control? Oh, oh! Are, are you getting control? You got control back. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right. Bring that thing home. This is some scary stuff, man. Why? And you're still only one bar of controlling. Yeah, that's what mine was too. Like. Yeah, I, I right really now. just think that the DJI radio was not up to this task. Yeah, I the, think the you're video right. seemed fine though, right? Yeah, I didn't lose video, but I lost radio. That's the first time I've ever fail safe with the radio. Well, I mean, you were forever away. Congrats That's it. on a successful fail safe. Yeah, operation. I learned something yeah. new today. It worked. Do you have any idea where you crashed? To get it. Uh, yeah. See this hill right here? Basically in the middle. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so it's gone, right? It's gone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, unless you guys want to go on a 10 hour hike to get it. Alright, well, this is the first time I've ever lost a drone. And like, and it's like, as bad as I feel, like, it's not my drone. I, I almost like, I don't feel hurt. <laughs> like, I'm just being truthful with you guys. Like, it's not my drone. I don't really care. Don't put that in there. Alright, so I lost Sean's drone. I'm not too worried about it. I wouldn't have brought it if I didn't, if I cared about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't bring stuff on rotor at shoots that you think is gonna get lost because it could get lost. We're on. Good. This is fast. What? Of the drone? Yeah, it's to land on the freaking car. It's you already drive faster? <laughs> I'm weaving in and out of power like, no, I want you to drive slower. Oh, tunnel's coming up. Alright, slow down. <laughs> <laughs>